That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong spoke those famous words, but rarely speaks in public anymore. But today, an exception. On Capitol Hill, he blasted President Obama's decision to cancel America's return to the moon and urged Congress to restore the program. Lack of review normally guarantees they will, there will be overlooked requirements and unwelcome consequences. For this plan, that is worrisome. The first man to walk on the moon was joined by the last to do it, Gene Cernan, who said canceling the moon project is short-sighted. This budget proposal presents no challenges, has no focus, and is in fact a blueprint for a mission to nowhere. But President Obama says there's more to space than just the moon. He envisions manned missions to Mars in the next 25 years and hopes private companies can develop their Thanks own spacecraft for trips to the International Space Station. After the shuttle retires this year, getting there will require hitching a ride with the Russians. Armstrong said that will destroy America's leadership in space. If the leadership we have acquired through our investment is simply allowed to fade away, other nations will surely step in where we have faltered.